Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this eye look using the Pretty Fun and Fearless uh, palette curated by Chloe Morello and this is done by Siete uh, London. So, love the inside, love the outside packaging. Really cute, fun, flirty. Um, the inside is equally as fun. It's got a nice mirror. I'm gonna cover so you don't get the the flashback from the bulbs. But um, the inside has some just absolutely cuteness, just like the outside of the palette. So the inside of the palette I like. Um, so what do I like about the inside of the palette? Is the colors. So you can have a neutral color or you can have a cool or warm toned um, purplish color. So today I did an eye look using My Tribe Be Sassy Jet Setter, a bit of Dainty Flirt and Daydream. Um, so I really like how these colors blended. There wasn't a lot of fallout. They went on relatively, or not relatively nicely, they went on really nice. And you'll see how quick I could put together the eye look and that was absolutely wonderful. Anytime I can get an eye palette that absolutely blends well and you don't have to keep working it and working it and you still end up with a pretty finish is great. So again, not a lot of fallout. The colors as far as pigmentation goes is spot on and um, they blend well. So what more could you ask for in a palette, right? Except for bigger and more colors, I don't know. But um, just wanted to show you this palette. Now, because I use most of the bottom, we can swatch um, maybe some of the top ones real quick so you can kind of see those. Um, a real light swatch and Again, those colors just kind of pop. So with some of the sparkly colors, we'll use those next. Because um, we love some sparkles in our life. So let's see how those do. And nice, just absolutely beautiful. And again, when I do my swatch test, I don't push hard on my skin because I find that absolutely annoying when people have to do that. And not that I'm not annoying, but um, that's just how I prefer to do the swatch test. So I hope you um, really like what I'm about ready to do with this eye color. Um, if you have any comments or questions about it, please leave those below. So get ready because we are going to do a pretty fun and fearless eye using the purples. Stay tuned. We're going to create this purple eye look using the Pretty Fun and Fearless curated by Chloe Morello pot, palette. Pile. I don't know why I've had such a hard time speaking in the last few weeks. Okay, so we are going to start out with some My Tribe and you know the drill, all over the eye. Next, we're gonna take some Be Sassy, which is slightly um, about the same color, but in a pink, same color tone, but in a pinkish color. And we're just gonna kinda move that around the crease and kinda up to the brow bone, but not completely to the eyebrows. So it just gives a soft wash of a pinkish purple. Next, we will be using Jet Setter. So we're kind of building up our colors and we're gonna take this one into the crease and work that into our transition color. We will next go in with Flirt. This color scheme kind of reminds me like I should be going to a winery. We're gonna come in with Flirt about halfway Just kind of moving that around, blending that in. Next, we'll take some Daydream. We're going to use that in the inner, outer corner. A little bit in the crease. Okay. 
Then we are going to take the color Dainty and we are going to work that on this third of the inner third of the eyelid, kind of going into the crease and then barely kind of blending it over the top of Flirt so that it has a softer transition, not hard lines. We'll take the color Daydream and we will use that on the lower lash line. Nice and easy. Okay, we're gonna take the e.l.f. eyeliner and this is in the color Coffee. I always like using the um, waterproof on the under lash line because um, I do get rub off or transfer throughout the day. And then we'll go in with the Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara. And that concludes this easy eye look. So if you wanna know other um, pieces that I've used for the full face, um, I use some Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine um, for my foundation. I used the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. For my cheeks, I used the Tarte, and this color is in Celebrated. Then I used my famous Airspun, because I don't know, I'm addicted to it, what can I say? For the bronzer, I used the Pure. This was um, Mineral Glow Bronzing Powder. For my highlighter today, I use the Vintage by Jessica L Liebeskin. And um, I did a little bit of both to get this light highlighter. For the lips, I used, um, for the lips, I used a combination between the foiled lip color with Makeup Geek, and I mixed that with some MAC Giggle Fest. So that's what gave the lip look. So if you wanna see or hear my thoughts on Chloe Morello's palette, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching my channel today. I hope you enjoyed the Pretty Fun and Fearless palette by Chloe Morello. So I really liked her collaboration. Um, I've had this palette for a while, but unfortunately with my different traveling and moving needs, that got put on the back burner. However, I have played with some of the um, warm, um, nude tones so have had fun with those today I was inspired to want to do a purple look I hadn't done one in a while so it was about time so I pulled out this palette used the purples and I feel like I should have a glass of Merlot or Cab in my hand as I um, did this tutorial instead of a cup of coffee but um, I really really like this palette it again um, I mentioned it at the beginning of the video the palette just goes on effortlessly. It blends well. You don't need an extra blending brush because everything is blending well, but it, the colors aren't getting muddy when you blend them. So I really love the fact that, that you can build the colors. They stand out on their own, but you don't have to go back and um, go over the top. So with a palette like this, if you're in a rush situation, this is the one you wanna grab because your colors are gonna stay beautiful. You can put them on effortlessly and quickly as you saw in the video and um, you end up with a very pretty eye. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't, give it a thumbs down, I don't know. Um, but please leave any comments or questions below and um, as always, you have a choice. Make it a beautiful day. See you next time.